Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a brand new version of the Brave Web Browser for desktop, version 1.56. And as you will see, we've had a major version upgrade from 152 to 156. So Brave has skipped a couple of versions. And the reason for this is they say that to address an error they encountered when merging Chromium 115, which is the latest version of Chromium, which the browser is based on, into master which obviously is uh, the brave web browser they've updated all of their channels to new version numbers so for the release channel which is the stable version they will now go from 1.53 which should have been the latest release and jumped right up to 1.56 so we've gone up a couple of versions in one jump basically with this latest version upgrade which started rolling out on the 19th of july which was once again late yesterday in my region and like most of the Brave Web Browser updates, there's quite a lot going on with this latest version 1.56. And once this update has been applied, the browser 1.56.9 and then the Chromium platform, which the browser is based, based on 115.0.5790.98. And that's exactly the same now as the Google Chrome Web Browser for desktop. Now... As mentioned, there's quite a lot going on. And first of all, for Brave Rewards. If we just head over to Brave Rewards quickly, there's a three add-ons and improvements they've updated for Brave Rewards. Just to bring your attention to this. And Brave Rewards, they say they've added rounded corners to the Brave Rewards drop-down panel. So everything's got rounded corners now, as you can see. All the different um, menus have now received rounded corners. And something else with Brave Rewards, if we just head back to my YouTube channel as an example, so I can get the verified creator blue checkmark icon. They say now that the verified creator a blue checkmark icon has been updated and it has got a bit of a slight update, um, which is a very small improvement. But nonetheless, I just wanted to bring it to your attention because um, I am a verified creator with Brave, as many of you may know. And they've also updated Brave Rewards settings um, under the Brave Rewards uh, in the actual settings. So if we head back to that and we head to our settings and we head over to Brave Rewards quickly, the whole settings page has received an update. So updated Brave Rewards settings under the Brave Rewards settings page. So that's uh, three updates basically rolling out for Brave Rewards. So quite a bit of attention being focused on Brave Rewards. Now, moving on to some of the general add-ons, improvements, and fixes. Uh, this time, if we just head back, actually, to the settings, and we head over to the system and the shortcuts. Brave says now they've added the ability to modify keyboard shortcuts uh, on this page. So now you can actually modify your different shortcuts that you are using in the browser. So if you are more prone to using your keyboard in the browser, I think that's a nice move, as I would always say, in the right direction. And then something else uh, just to take note of is they've updated the Brave VPN connection. So if you are using the VPN, they've updated the Brave VPN connection to be removed when Brave is uninstalled on Windows. And here's another small but yet a significant improvement. They've updated the sidebar to be displayed on the right by default, where that was not the case. Prior to this update, it always opened up on the left, as many of you will know. And you can always change this, by the way, if we click on the settings at the bottom. And we just scroll down here till where you get uh, your... Here we go. You can show sidebar button and there we go you can also put it back to the left so you can change that as mentioned but by default now the sidebar opens up on the right as mentioned and then something else um they fixed a crash there's a couple of fixes which i'm just going to go through they fixed a crash when using these side panel extensions so if you were running extensions in the side panel that's a crash fix and something else to take note of um they fixed a crash which occurred when opening a private window so if you are using a private window in the brave web browser um this uh, this crash occurred when opening a private window from a window shortcut when a search extension is installed so if you did for whatever reason um, experience that issue then that has been addressed according to brave now just to go through a couple of quick mentions when it comes to bug fixes they fixed login issues they fixed system theme changes uh, interfering with 
explicitly set Brave theme on Linux. So that's a theme fix if you are using the web browser on Linux. And they fixed a vertical tab scrolling issue. They also fixed pin tabs being created in PWA windows. And there's a macOS fix where they fixed intermittent issue where bookmarks menu items were not displayed in the application menu on macOS. And that's more or less the general fixes and improvements. And with that out the way, and because we are dealing with important security fixes, they did roll out with the Chromium update, which the browser is based on to version 115. Um, as always, it's always good to double check you have the latest version and this will force the update once again if it hasn't done so already. Now, the security fixes that have rolled out for the Chromium platform are quite numerous. We get 20 security fixes and this is more or less what rolled, rolled out for Chrome as I did post on yesterday. But just to do a quick recap, there's 20 security fixes. Uh, there are four high-risk vulnerabilities that have been addressed and out of those high-risk vulnerabilities, there are two use after free. And then we've also got a out-of-bounds memory access in Mojo. And those use after free are WebRTC and use after free in tab groups. And there are no zero days or exploits in the wild. But nonetheless, we are dealing with four high-risk vulnerabilities. So just double-check your Brave web browser is up to date sooner than later because it is your first line of defense and i have also noticed as i've mentioned previously that brave is very good at updating itself automatically in the background compared to the other web browsers and just on a side note if we click on the version this will take us to the release notes and once again for web3 um, brave has rolled out a lot of add-ons and updates and fixes too many to mention in this video else we will be here all day so you can just click on that version and if you want more information regarding the Web3 improvements, um, you can just come over to the release notes and check that out for yourself. But nonetheless, uh, just putting it out there, Brave version 1.56 now has jumped a couple of versions as mentioned. And, that's, and this latest stable release started rolling out on the 19th of July, 2023. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.